Hello and welcome to a simple LoRaWAN demo running on STM32WL. What do we need for this demo? Is a modified repository example called the EndNote. The original example needs credentials and commissioning for registration of the specified node and communicates with uh, the Things Network server and can make devices to show the data. We will simplify this example so that it will simulate an AC unit and we will send over the network on the measured temperature and we will receive either increase, decrease or equal temperature so that the application will tell us how to control the temperature. Then we need stm 32 wm nucleo, which we will flash with this uh, simple application. And uh, right after the flashing, it will be able to send the data to the LoRaWAN network server. In order to send the data to the network server, we also need a packet forwarder. For the packet forwarder, we will use the stm 32 f 7 nucleo plus rising HF module by simply connecting it to a PC. Then for the network server, we will use an open source solution available on GitHub, which is running directly on this local PC and can run on any other PC. Lastly, for the application server, we will use a node thread flow and it will simulate our AC unit. It will accept all the nodes that wants to connect. No registration is then needed and it will run the application meaning it will provide us the increase, decrease and equal control. Now to the data flow. First of all, the stm 32 wl as the end node will send out the measured temperature, which will be then forwarded by the simple F7 gateway. And then over the Ethernet, it will go to the laptop running the network server. And finally, through MQTT, it will reach the application server, which will decide which control scheme to select, increase, decrease, or equal temperature, and it will get sent again through the whole system back to the STM32WL. To start with the demo, we will first of all load the application, which I have prepared in a binary format, and we will simply flash it by using the mass storage of the ST-Link on board of the Nucleo. So we will simply copy it to the end node. It will reset and start the application. Then when I connect with the console application, I will see what the hardware is doing. It is attempting to connect to my server. Now it has joined. And now it will send some data over to the network server, which I have running right here. Here is the latest join I have just attempted. As you can see, I have some trials from before where I have already a response for the data. In a couple of minutes, there should be a response. There should be a transmit data from the node to the network server. So it will get here and then it will be passed to the node thread application. As you can see, here is the data received. It is parsed. And now with a simple threshold, which is maybe too low for this uh, particular application, it will get compared and it will send some message. It is uh, again parsed into JSON format and then it's sent back to the network server. And then the network server will handle the sending to the end node. Here is also the packet forwarder, which is initialized and ready. So actually transmitting anything that goes through. As you can see, now the data has been sent. We have sent some data and then we have received that the application should decrease the temperature. As you can see, it, it's on the dashboard as well. Send some data and then it uh, receives some response from the backend from the node thread. Here it is also visible that uh, device with this address was sending some data. The materials to this demo will be provided on a Google Drive available on this link. 
It will be available after the 12th of November. It will contain not only the binary, but also a tutorial on how to set up your own network server and application server. So this is how simple it is to send some data over LoRaMAN network with STM32WL. Thank you for your attention.